from Leo Virgo to your July 24th through the 30th, 31st reading, excuse me. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Getting straight in here. 24 through the 31st, please. Best message. Stellar gateway activation, infinite potential manifestation vortex telling you that it is, oh, oh, yeah, okay. That's just telling me that the vortex for your manifestation is open. It's time. Get ready to jump. Get ready for this to come through. Doesn't mean it's going to happen today. Doesn't mean it'll happen tomorrow. It could be in an hour. It could be, you know, some of you might already be getting it right now as we speak because time is fluid and everybody's story is a little different. But I'm loving it. Ooh. Getting your manifestations in. Okay, let's see what's going on. Give us some more gateways. Tell us what's going on over there, Spirit. Yeah, bringing in the inner earth, base chakra, strength, security, and laying the foundations. You have been laying some really mighty foundations over here, my friends, and you get the holy grail. Inner discovery, finding sacredness, and you are what you seek, and the holy grail is here. It's overflowing. It is pouring all over the place. Venetian Galactic Council, it's answering the call in time to shut. That's it. The cup is overfilled. It's time to answer the call. It is time to jump. You have already laid the foundations. It's a sturdy, stable foundation. The manifestation is coming through. You did what you were supposed to do. Wow. Okay. Gotta love it when we do what we're supposed to do. Okay, so let's just see what's going on there with the inner peace or inner earth. Yeah, probably having some inner peace too. Have some peace of mind, inner peace. Absolutely. Yeah, I guess you did have some inner peace. You have the King of Cups. <laughs> so you definitely did have inner peace and compassion. I'm emotionally balanced through this whole this whole thing. And it doesn't mean that you didn't get upset here and there and, and you know, is this ever coming? Or, you know, it just means that the overall spirit is saying the overall actions that you took was emotionally balanced. You stuck to your guns. You knew what you wanted. You tolerated what you needed to tolerate. And even when you did maybe become a little you know, um, over-emotional about the situation, which everyone does. It doesn't matter. It just means you recentered yourself. You came back, and you know how to keep yourself emotionally balanced. Hey, look, we all get there, okay? If you've been manifesting something for years, of course you're going to go crazy. It's never going to come in. Then you have this kind of emotional breakdown, right? We've all been there. Um, but then you take back the control, right? It's like you get it out of the system, and that's okay. Spirit doesn't mind that, right? Because you're human. Get out of control, but you put yourself back into control, and you took yourself back in and said, no, because I have to have this. This is where it has to be, right? So the overall is you keeping what you want and seeking what you need to seek and not chasing it down, right? Because whatever you're going to chase is going to run from you. So you don't want to chase after it. And there could have been some times that you did try to chase. We all try to do that too, but then it gets further and further away, right? So, yeah, so there you go. You're the empress. Right? Having the development, accomplishing things. There's a lot of growth and evolution that went through this situation. And, yeah, you're having your abundance come to you. Now it's time to shine. Do not challenge the situation. It is not time for competition. It is not time for protection. It is not time to, you know, to challenge whether or not this is this and that or maintain too much control. It is now time to leap towards your ten of, oh, ten of pentacles. Wealth, financial security for your, your, you know, long-term success. This is what you wanted. Whether it was love, money, whatever it is, right? Whatever it was. Let's grab some dream cards over here and see what's going on in this situation. Clarify, please. Ooh, you could have been dreaming about music. You know, playing music, hearing music, anything like this. But it's talking about the part, the harmony and that peace within yourself. I guess ever since I said peace, I was right on top on that. I heard I heard it, but then I was kind of weird because it just kind of came out of my mouth. But it's kind of a strange two in one. But, um, yeah, there is a lot of peace and harmony within yourselves and within this situation. Travel. 
You could be having dreams of travel, knowing where to travel, wanting to travel, getting yourself on the right road, traveling towards your dreams. If you, some of you may even be musicians, you may be dreaming of a musician, you may be wanting a musician, <laughs> might be in love with a musician, maybe you want your band to take off, um, want to be heard, something of that nature as well with the music. Because with the music and the travel, it's like, but I'm traveling within peace and harmony through the situation. And some of you, you're actually, you know, trying to unite yourself either with a loved one, um, with somebody. Um, but however it is, it's about union. It doesn't have to be love either. Just because you have a, a dream about marriage does not mean that you're going to marry someone. It could just be talking about having that union, that overall union with what it is you truly want. Right? Having that contract, a contract is like a union, um, and really feeling like this is something that's got long term, it's going to last a very long time. Um, okay, so clarifying on the music over here, please. Having an emperor, the emperor is talking about having the respect and the leadership, the stability. You could be, you know, like I said, maybe you're, you know, wanting this emperor, male or female, it doesn't matter. It's just talking about they're a leader, you know, or maybe you're trying to put yourself into leadership role over here, knowing that you are in control of the situation, which you're already showing me that is the king of cups. So you know what the rules and the power are. Building that structure, laying that foundation is about laying that structure. So... Like I said, you could be dreaming these things. You don't have to be. It's just more of ideas of what you're doing and, you know, what's understandable for you. Um, so take it how it resonates. Traveling is the wheel of fortune. Oh, my gosh. This is where your destiny is calling you. You've manifested this into your destiny, and this is the turning point, the change that you've needed. You are traveling towards that, that wheel that is, you know, cycling in your favor. This is, you know... It could be a little unpredictable about when 100 it's all going to come together, um, but it's definitely cycling for you right now, meaning that it is weaving it together for you right now. Uh, so you can kind of see it as universe being a master weaver, um, you know, and up there just kind of weaving all these pieces together. Um, yeah, with the wedding, you have the king of swords, keeping that discipline again, keeping yourself honest and truth truthful to what it is you're manifesting. Um, like I said, it can even be this person that you're head over heel, uh, heels about, however it is. But it's definitely about the truth, the discipline, keeping yourself as your own authority. You are in control of the situation, and that's what's really making this all come together, my friends. You have mastered the step that you're on, putting yourself where you need to be, knowing what your truth is, knowing where your conflicts were, and then defeating those with breakthroughs. Because like I said, it doesn't mean that we're always, you know what I mean? That we're always, you know, emotionally on top or mentally on top. Um, but no, you had the, the breakthrough. So anything that just felt like there was some kind of conflict that came through this situation, you have pretty much cut your sword and made this mental breakthrough to have this new beginning. Um, and definitely having a new beginning. This is where you have gone through a major transformation into this beautiful new change and transition within your life, ending this cycle to make it a brand new, beautiful cycle of what your manifestation is, bringing this all to light, whether it is a love or what you're in love with, you have the Ace of Cups. So now you have the Ace of Swords with the Ace of Cups, and you have tons and tons of major arcanas on this board because in even one at the bottom of the deck, and why, and even... <clears throat> right right because why is this because this is destined anytime we have this many major arcanas on the board plus aces is just showing these new beginnings um you definitely have one two three four major arcanas on the board at the bottom of the deck is the hermit with the victory with the hangman another major arcana so look at that getting rid of any three of swords and then you have the world card <laughs> another major arcana. So, ha, right, uh, yeah, definitely destined to happen. Um, this is, you know, this is your destiny. You have pulled this together. It's your time to shine. Uh, let's go ahead and grab an overall card for the situation. Yes. 
Clarify on the overall, please. Thoughts. Ooh, you're going to have some thinking and some thoughts that you're going to have to take place within this situation to get to the ultimate change that you're looking for. Could even have someone who is actually, yes, male or female, thinking of you at this time, ready to journey to you. Otherwise, you can just say, I have some thoughts about this change, about, you know, where I'm going, you being the main person, um, right, about where I'm going to travel, how I'm going to get this done, how is this all going to work together. And then, like I said, for some of you, you have, court, you have somebody courting you. And for some of you, it's sudden wealth. Bam, what in the hell just happened? Yeah, some of you are going to become wealthy. Oh, my gosh, and this is a gift from the universe because you have put in all the hard work. What is, yeah, it's, it's justified justification. Okay. Alrighty. Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.